everyone, welcome to K-pop. We can read daily reactions to all things K-pop. Okay, right now I'm finally listening to Lehigh's newest mini EP. Who cares? It's music. Okay, it's 24 degrees. It has our title track, No One, featuring B.I. of Icon. You guys know how much I love her. I don't even have to tell y'all. Okay, just go to my Twitter and you will see the sheer amounts of love that I have for this girl and hatred I have towards YG. Now, I do have to remind myself consistently to not get those two mixed up and to try and stay as positive as possible and happy that our girl is here and killing the game and that everybody been waiting. Come on. She has been on the top of the charts She's been killing everything. People have been dying for this music, and rightfully so. So let's jump right into this and see what this is about. 24 Degrees on Spotify. We give our thanks. Okay, it's five tracks on here. And it has the G-Soul track, which is supposed to come out um, November 2017. It was a no. It was a. It was a cold. It was a cold uh, winter month <laughs> when we were supposed to get this. Uh, Jisoo had been in the. He had just like just enlisted or something. You know, not too long before they had announced this, and I was like, "Oh, this is so cool! We're so excited! It's Lehigh! It's everything!" And then it never came out. Um, so the first track on here is our title track, "No One," <laughs> featuring Vi Icon. Let's get into that. You know, I have been singing this nonstop, despite myself being quite tone deaf. I do enjoy it, nevertheless. And I rewatched the MV, and I realized that she had been the cat the whole time. I like completely missed that bit. If I had been closer to her, I would have noticed that some of this shit was bigger than her, that she was like, acting like a cat. <laughs> the perfect collab. I love it when Lehigh is honestly working with her icon members. Don't even think that we forgot about Hai Suhyun, our favorite subunit. We want it to come back. That feature with Bobby is really nice, even though Bobby only had like two lines. The music video is amazing. Okay, I loved all the live stages that they did. And uh, her and B.I., I mean, they've been doing all of the press together, which is really great. Also, can I just say the hairstyling for each comeback has been amazing. Her clip, her weave has just, it's been really flawless. Okay, it blends so well. That hairstylist gets an A++. Because that is not usually the case. <laughs> Love this track. I think it is super, super rich, uh, like, beats, melody, background, combined with her super rich voice. So you just get a lot of texture, a lot of richness, all that things to just kind of, like, sink your teeth into. I mean, every time I listen to this, seriously, I'd be like, whoa, what? this song is, like, really well done. Like, it's really well produced. Like, I can hear her really well. I, I think it's done really well. Like, I'm always sort of taken aback every time I go play, despite playing the track so many times. Like I said, I love this um, combo of her and B.I. I think they make a great team. He, he does really well in this track. They've been doing it together on all the shows, like I said, doing all the press. So it's just been a really great time for her uh, promoting this title track. The next track on here is the G So <laughs> I okay. I tweeted out like a little comment retweet like, "Ooh, see that G So collab with like the eyes emoji, or whatever." And then I think his account liked it. I don't know. No, I think it was him. It's not. It doesn't have a blue check, which is why I was like, I don't know if this is him. But it had thirty um thirty k plus people following. So I was like, wait, is this him? I, I mean, he, I think that account is just liking all of the G Soul, anything you say with G Soul in it. Like I went through it cause I was like, I think this is a fraud, but they liked everything with G Soul in it. So it could be him. I have no idea. So, um, that was just my little Twitter story, but <laughs> hold on. Okay. I need to stay calm. I can already feel my heart. I can feel my pressure. Hold on. Just, oh, you know? <laughs> I'm 
being coded in her vocals, which is why my eyes are closed. Can you imagine if we had gotten this in the fucking winter? I, sorry, it's not time. Let me enjoy this. It's the now. I'm sorry. in these fucking videos. <laughs> Harmony! <laughs> Not to like dwell in the past, but if we had gotten this at the fucking end of November, beginning of December like we were supposed to, my winter would have been set up. Like it would have been cleared, I would have needed nothing else, I would have had this track and I would have been just so good. Listen, it is my perfect early 2000s R&B slow like, but you know like you can only sort of like give like a shit, like anytime you see those videos, this is the dance move that they're doing in it. Like it's, 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 it's so perfect. It's so simplistic, honestly, the way that it was produced, but like their vocals, like they don't need anything else like their vocals are coming in super smooth super r&b so crystal clear so much power next track on here is love is over <laughs> it's really over the way that just came in oh what does this remind me of Fool, it's giving me fool vibes. Bam, 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 bam. Come on. I know I said fool, but I meant fool for love. Okay. <laughs> Similar song structure, full for love, similar genre as well. This piano came to work today. It's the, that up there, that uptick. band we got here tonight come on mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like I said, reminding me of Fool for Love, very similar genre, very similar song structure, melody pattern, still just as fantastic, okay? Still voice ringing clear, coming in 
full. Okay, she sounds spectacular. Obviously, I expect nothing less. The band, the instruments that we had, I mean, that was just, that was such a full band. I could hear the drums. I could hear the piano. You know, I could hear the bass. Like, I could just hear all of them in the recording studio, studio together just playing that track. So the next track in here is one, two, three, two, and uh, Sook of Treasure, which I never watched, so I don't actually know who he is. I don't know if he's a vocalist or a rapper, but uh, let's see how this goes. Okay. <laughs> Having our plugs in an uh, electric guitar. <laughs> You know, giving us like cabana sort of vibes. Okay. This is this is my own instrument I'm adding along to. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Full on! Like a carnival vibe? This must be him. <laughs> Add in another beat. Give it a little bit more of a dynamic. Okay, it went a different way than I wanted it to, so. Mm. An like another track for us by the by the pool this summer. I can't help but smile and dance along, honestly. The whole time I was really tuned into the guitar. I mean, that's what opened up the track for me. So, like, that's the first thing you hear. You could probably hear it and pick it out throughout the rest of the track if you wanted to. And so that's what I was doing, right? I love the way that the chorus became really full, giving it more of that carnival uh, feel. Um, like, just really, really upbeat, really fun. Like, we're filled in the streets. We got on our nice costumes. Like, we're out here. We're dancing. We're having a good time. We're celebrating, right? Also had a little bit of, like, an, uh, you know, EDM house. Well, I don't really, just beats, <laughs> beats aspect in there that they decided to strip away and have that only just be for the chorus. So that was a nice distinction to have. Um, yeah, just a really nice little upbeat, fun party track. Okay. Okay, very distinctively different from um, everything else on here. Yeah. I mean, the other tracks are really nice, of course, but, you know, they kind of have, like, a, you know, a more, more mellow, more mellow vibe about it, you know? Okay, the last track on here is 20 minutes, and I wish it was 20 minutes long, but no, it's only 2.57. Okay. I think she's a dreamer? She whispered dreamer? I don't know. Acoustic guitar? Keyboard. Mm. Mm. I'm just really stuck in her tone. That's why my face looks like that. <laughs> Come on. I'm out! This is like water drop. Just how the vocals are always the focal point of the track, you know? How she always, how the producers just, you know what? The people really hear it for her voice. Yeah, we'll give them great production. Yeah, we can fill it out and stuff. But at the end of the day, the focus is the vocals. Mm. 
I'm in my feelings about this course. Okay. <laughs> Okay, 20 minutes. Uh, very much sort of like, it feels like a, well, I don't know what she's saying, but it, you know, it sort of feels like a, this is, this is it. <laughs> okay, this is it. I'm over it. Um, I'm done with this. Goodbye. Like that, it felt very final while listening to it. And the way that she just kind of goes into that chorus, there's something about that melody where I was just like, Ugh. you know, I was like, Ugh, yes, you know, dig down deep and push that vocal through. Like I was just so enthralled with that. The little raindrops, the little like uh, uh, sand, you know, I don't know, what do you call this, this sort of instrument? You know what I'm talking about. You can see it in my hand. This like thing that they were adding in, like all these little, like little sounds to add in. You know, a random bits, but but not but it's not distracting. It just sort of adds to like the resolution of the song. Gives it a little, gives it more texture throughout the track. Twenty minutes. So it's over. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> like that's it. It's five tracks. I hope that they do like a two part album thing. Um like we've always been doing. That's my favorite. <laughs> I love it. You know, more music, more things to listen to. Um, I don't think it will be, but um, I wish I wish it could be. There could be like another part two, or maybe we could just get a full album. Basically, I just want more music. This is a, in conclusion, <laughs> I would just like more Lehigh music because it has been a serious drought. And this, although is going to quench my thirst for a little bit and I can always go back to the old tracks, I want to look forward to something else. Uh, hopefully not while she's under YG though. So, um, <laughs> my favorite track on here is No Way featuring G-Soul. I just, I just, I just, there's no other way. Like, I just, like, I like, don't get me wrong. 20 Minutes is amazing. Other tracks are great, are great on here, but no way. I mean, I just, I, like I said, if I had gotten this in 2017, my winter would have been set and I would still be talking about the track, honestly. So that's why I have to pick No Way. But, um, y'all were not wrong. This did not disappoint. You're right. I do love this EP phenomenal phenomenal so yes thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe tell me what you guys think about this ep and what's your favorite track on here okay you can comment below you can tweet at me and i'll be back with another video bye guys